Greetings, minions. It is I, the Flaming Monocle, and I'm here playing 8-Bit Boy once again for your amusement. So, without further ado, let's load our game on level 5-3. Please wait. Ah. Hitting him with the most exciting starts of any episode known to man. Ooh, that's nice and smooth. Okay, lovely. Good, good, good. So, uh, just to reiterate, I've not ever gotten this far in the game, so everything here is new to me. And I'm hoping that this is a nice shortcut or something to the end boss. No such luck. But, you know, there's stuff up here in the form of black cherries, some coinage, fireage. Gosh, these things are so difficult to stay on. Okay, nothing there. Let's go back down again. Good thing fall damage isn't a thing in this game. Ugh. Oh, hang on. Don't move. Wow. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad that I wasn't too hasty in my entering of this particular part of the level. And lava not posing too much of a great threat there. Onwards and upwards, as is a sort of catchphrase of mine these days, it seems. So, how many of you caught one of my episodes out there on Freedom Idol? You may have spotted that I am partnered with uh, Freedom. I don't tend to make a big song and dance about it because, you know, really a partner is there to assist you in the, the growth of one's channel. And in return, yeah, of course, you give them a bit of good press, but ultimately they're getting a portion of the revenue. So, uh, that's, uh, that's fine with me. But um, we'll see how things go. Um, at the moment, I'm playing every... Oh, darn. I'm playing every Saturday with them. Um, so if you ever want to see me on a different channel, then I suggest you Ooh, head over there, you gosh darn idiot. Let's try that again, shall we? Perhaps uh, I should leave the uh, talking about affiliate... I'm such a numpty. Anyway, I should leave talking about the affili affiliate stuff for another time because uh, there's loads of other things I could be talking about, such as uh, in the last episode, or the, the episode before last, I asked what it was, if anything, you guys had for me in the way of you know, stuff for me to talk about. And the overwhelming response was to talk about horror games for some reason. Now, uh, I've not really had the chance to play any horror games so far. I mean, unless you count... God, there was nothing there. God. Um, yeah, unless you count something like uh, 1953 KGB Unleashed, which was supposed to be a horror game, I think. Which, as you may or may not have seen, uh, proved to be nothing of the sort. I could understand kind of where it was going, but ultimately I fell a little bit flat. It was supposed to be sort of scary through storytelling, but the storytelling was awful, so I can see why that wasn't exactly the most uh, hair-raising adventure I've ever had. However... I have played my fair share of things like Amnesia and things like that in my own time, out, you know, off camera and so on. But, you know, back in the day when it was, you know, still a big thing. And obviously, because it begins with the letter A, I'm going to have to play that eventually. And when I say eventually, I mean fairly soon. And I'm not really <laughs> too keen on thinking about that right this precise moment. But uh, we shall see how things go. I don't think I have much in the way of um, uh, horror games before then. Um, but I'm looking forward to having the pants scared off of me uh, pretty soon because um, yeah a lot of these games so far have left a little bit to be, to be desired in the way of um, anything in the emotion department but uh, yeah there's plenty out there I mean in terms of favorite horror games I mean I think the first horror game wow that was incredibly lucky the first horror game I ever really played was uh, Alone in the Dark the original Alone in the Dark game um, back when that was a thing, but, um, on a friend's computer. This is before I even had a PC, before I even knew how to operate a PC. I had someone else come and set it up for me, and like a bastard, you know, leave me alone to play it. And I was far too young, supposedly, to play that. Uh, except I, I don't think I was. You know, it was an interesting experience. I remember at the time it was dark and I was alone. So I thought, ah, this, these are the instructions as well as the title. So let's run with that, shall we? Um... Um, oh, there's a little spring there. How lucky for me! And that's the end of that level. Yeah, so Alone in the Dark. Alone in the Dark was really um, my first entry into the way of scary games. And there was other point-and-click adventure games that I don't really recall at this precise moment. Um, and other than that, really, I kind of waited until... 
Because, I mean, there was certainly nothing... I had a lot of consoles. And console gaming didn't really have much in the way of horror. I mean, because I had a Sega Mega Drive, or well, yeah, a Sega Genesis, rather, for you guys in America. And I had a Game Boy. And really, neither of those... Come, okay, just fall through the world, that's fine. Um, neither of those really scream... Oh, I've got a red coin as well, my word. But yeah, neither of those really screamed, this is a horror game. You know, it, it, there, there were no real horror games as such on those consoles. I mean, I played um, a, the Alien um, game on Mega Drive, and uh, that was okay. Um, but it didn't really scream horror game to me. So it wasn't really until I kind of picked up Resident Evil on the uh, PlayStation that horror games were in my sphere of influence. And really, it didn't, it didn't do much in the way of make me a big fan of horror games as such, because it was just one of those games that, yeah, I absolutely adored Resident Evil, don't get me wrong, but I was never really that interested in the genre, despite the fact that it is now probably the most popular genre out there. I'm not going to get up there, am I? Don't poop on me, thank you. Um, yeah, easily the most popular genre out there. I think it's in film as well, probably one of the most popular genres going. Um, so, uh, there's definitely that, but uh, I've never gone out of my way to find horror games. Not because I don't find myself influenced by them or anything like that, it's just they've just never really done anything for me. Um, and I'm not saying also that I'm not scared by them, because I, I love a good game that either tears at the old heartstrings in the, in the form of uh, something really touching, or something that makes you want to you know, shite one's pantaloons. But, um, hello, you're the one, oh, you're one of the ones that falls off the edges. Um, yeah, either that or it makes you want to, you know, ball for an afternoon. And uh, I must say, there's been a few of those, but uh, that's perhaps a story for another time. Oh, I survived that. I survived that encounter. Um, so yeah, that's it in the way of horror games for me. Oh my god, double, double, double luck of all luckdom. Uh, okay, I'm not worthy, apparently. Phew. Oh my god, and it's the end of the level as well. We are making such progress. How am I going to get past this? Am I going to go underneath it? Yeah, I'm going to go underneath it, I think. No. Come on. Come back to me. Lovely, 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 lovely. Excellent. Level over. So yeah, there we go. I mean, that I, I was asked to, um, to comment on horror games, and I commented on horror games. Oh, bonus game! You, bonus level one, you get... Okay. I guess I have to get all the coins. Don't mind if I do. Let's fetch all those. Oh, don't think I'm going to do that now. Uh, let's grab those. No. Don't see this happening, do you? Oh, 15 seconds. What am I talking about? Of course I'm going to do it. Easy peasy. You just won 10. T wow, 10 lives? <laughs> oh, because I had 10 seconds left on the clock. Okay, that 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 was really cool, I, I must admit. Okay, that's fantastic. So, let us go straight on to the next level on... Oh, it's 5-5! Five, five. Have I done five levels on this already? That is crazy. Not crazy, I suppose. Oh. What even? Well, at least I found there's a hole in the ground there. Come on, come to me. Oop. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Yeah, there. Ha 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 ha! I'll have those grapes now, I think. Ba doing. Ba doing. Ba doing. Ba doing. Ba doing. Ba doing. Ooh. Oh, sneaky. What? How dare you? I didn't even. What? Never mind. <sighs> Never mind, eh? Gosh, that thing has looked a bit. a little bit evil of the spitting of the fire and the mouth and the breathing. Let's go back in here and get those lovely, yummy, yummy coinage. Coinages. 30. Not to be sniffed at. Okay, I have no shield at this point, so it's kind of imperative I don't get hit at all. You do that, you do that. Okay, okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, I, I say okay far too much when I'm stressed out. 
time to calm it down. Take it down a peg. And, okay, that's a thing. I wonder if there's a... I'm sure there was something down there I could have gotten into, but... Uh, oh, there we go. No. Nope, nope. Hmm. Well, that kind of proved to be a great hoo-ha about nothing, eh? Forget that then. I think I'm just getting to the end of the level at this point. That's pretty much where I'm at. There we are. Oh, darn, there's a thing there I can go to. Nerk. Ah, the concentration. It's palpable. Oh dear. I forgot about that one. It is the obligatory sort of Mario Land. Um, where it's not Bullet Bill, they're just spheres of influence. <laughs> Let's use that word as much as possible in this episode. Carry on. Singing a song. Dee dee dee. Kind of wish I had something to. Other than a, a sh I wish I had a shield or something. That would be fantastic right about now. Just an extra one hit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> My prayers have been answered. There's a shield. I'll take it. Oh, and I lose it immediately. Just goes to show, doesn't it? You can't be too careful in one of these here games. Right, so. I know. Oh, I was going to say, I know that falls down, so don't use it. Never mind it. Dunk. Dunk. Ah, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh, I can't jump on that one. Okay, fine. Can I jump up here? Okay, forgive me on that one. I thought I'd try and jump over there. No! <laughs> it's so unfair! Oh well, I'm not being particularly careful. That's why I really ought to just... As I say, take my own advice, calm it down a bit, let things happen, everything's fine. Just carry on as if nothing in the world could harm you. Because everything in this world certainly can. Dead trees everywhere, gotta love that background as well, those mountain ranges, it's proper misty mountains. Mm. Oh, these are now deciding to flame at the same time, are they? Well, could be because they were off screen when they were drawn. So, let's see, just mm, launch ourselves through this bit. Ah, touching the side of the wall. Okay, I tell you what, let's do speedrunner mode. I'm actually... The, the, the real speedrunner mode. <laughs> uh, yeah, because everyone knows what speedrunning is all about, ultimately. Yeah, could have taken the momentum there, but didn't. Now I've got flames to think about. That didn't really work. Just keep hitting these birdie things, killing them. Jumpity jump, jumpity jump, take the one hit there. Nope. Okay, let's try a different approach. Let's try the, uh, I'm an experienced platform game player and we take things sensibly and do all of the things properly. I promise you I've not been drinking or taking drugs or anything like that because I'd be in a much better mood if I had been. <laughs> uh. Okay, not get hit by bullets. Jump over. I can see why ten lives were kind of what the doctor ordered. Not that it really matters, because every time I run out of lives, I kind of just start from a save game. And when I start from a save game, I get all the stuff back that I had when I first started this level. So actually, it's kind of better if I do it that way. But I do lose any score I had. And if you'll remember, when I mentioned that this is the scores in a previous episode, you'll note that I don't actually give a damn about the scores. Anything here? So, um, yeah. I'm more interested in finishing the game, to be honest, because that's what the game's all about, surely. There was a story at the beginning, if you ever watched episode one... I forgot I couldn't do that. If you watched episode one, you'll remember that there's a story attached to this. Not a very good one, I will admit. I will be the first to admit. Guy decides to play an old video game console and gets sucked into it, Pokemon style. Oh gosh, I was so close to it last time! Oh, I know. Oh, grapeage. I'll have some grapeage. Meow. I see, so I had to go the top route. I was all planning to go the bottom route, but uh, we shall see how this pans out for me. Another level down! Gosh, and we still got another sort of five minutes before I really ought to end this episode. We're making loads of progress. 
be done by the end of the day. Five, six already. Oh, the very first block yields coinage. So I've done my obligatory little talk on the stuff that I you know, asked you guys to get back on, back to me about. And you know, I do appreciate the fact that you guys got in touch. And then you, I appreciate the fact that you guys got in touch and actually did speak to me in that regard. So is there anything else you would like for me to talk about? Or did I not cover the horror game satisfactorily? Because um, I don't really know a great deal about horror games because I don't play a lot of them. Not Wow. So you got to really time that because I can't not jump onto that thing. Yeah, okay. I've only really got three lives left. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had over ten at one point. Yeah. Gosh, that was close. Okay. I think this is one of the levels you see in the uh, demo when you leave the game to run its course. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just, just stop it. Yeah. I accidentally clicked on the, the green grapeage. <sighs> Right, let's try following the coins, because the coins wouldn't lie. <laughs> following trails of coins has never, never not worked for me, especially in Mario Land. Wow, there's a lot of coins on that one. Kill birdage. Check all the things for things. Ugh, nothing. Oh, there was one here. What? Oh, go on, then let's do it. Better be something amazing at the end of this, because this is really precarious. Oh, a block. Oh, and the coin. Give me one man. Well, I suppose that'll do. Because I know that if I die now, I know not to bother coming back again. Ooh, I thought that wasn't coming back that time. And I died. Never mind, eh? It's a little bit fiddly on the old control front, I must say. It's not like the momentum one gets from playing a... I'm a, again, I'm going to just say the Mario games because they were so brilliantly tweaked. Unlike that bit, because there's just momentum and then there's momentum. Let's try again. Okay. Yeah. And one go. What? One life left. Oh, this is working out so marvelously for me. Then again, if I die now and I have to load my save game, I still have all those lives left that I came here with, like four or five, I think. So there's no bad thing there. And it's not as if I've made a ton of progress and scored a load of points. Points then. Game over. Game over, man. Game over. <sighs> How many lives did I have? Six! And I've still got my green grapeage. So I have nothing to complain about whatsoever. I really should stop hitting all the blocks ever. Okay. I'll take it. Oh, double green grape. Oh, and black. Cherries. Grapes. Black. 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 Okay. That's our show references there. And... Not really much else to talk about in this game. I mean, you've seen everything. I mean... I'm sure there's plenty of secrets, plenty of things to do, but as you know, I'm not out here to do 100% on anything. I'm here to finish the game. Which is to say, to get to the end state. It's like when I was talking about speedrunners. As in, speed running rather than the game speedrunners. Which is to say, I'm doing an any percentage uh, job of the thing. Hang on. Hang on, how am I supposed to get up there? Aha! There we go. Oh, there must be another one over there. And there is! Lucky I! Well, in any case, um, yeah, so I am going to be playing this to the point where the, the end credits roll, and that's it. Ooh, there's a secret up there. A secret! A secret! Uh, oh, I don't know if I want to hit that. Let's just go this way. And those super balls once again proving to me that there's nothing hidden in that wall behind me. Why am I getting all these coins? Ooh, there's a thing over here. Oh, another 30 coins! Another six and I can get a free thing. I feel like it's some sort of reward scheme at a supermarket. Okay, it says down. I'm guessing there's a block there. Uh, ah. Well, I should have seen that coming. Oh no, it's another timer, eh? 
Gosh, another 30 seconds well deserved. Yeah. Well done. Just so happens that that's the end of the level. And that's a 20 minutes or thereabouts, so that's pretty good timing, I feel. So I'll leave this episode here, and I'll just simply say thank you very much indeed for tuning in once again. And I'll see you the next time that I play 8-Bit Boy. Leave a comment below if you can, because I do so enjoy reading those. And if possible, hit that subscribe button and make my day. Become a minion, and good things will happen. And by good, I mean bad, but in a good way. So I'll see you then. Cheerio!